I got four matching restore frames and we're gonna make something really fun with these. Now, they are beautiful and I plan to put paper inside them. However, the way these were professionally framed, it is going to take a ton of work. So, my new plan, once I have these frames painted and I'm gonna use some gray chalk paint to do that, I am gonna fill in right on top of the glass with some really pretty old book pages. We're going to use an old copy of Pride and Prejudice I picked up at the ReStore. You know why, you guys? Because there is nothing offensive in this book. There is nothing worse than doing a DIY with book pages and finding something really awful on the page that you've chosen. We're going to pop those in here once we've got them cut to the right size and we're just going to use a good old school glue glue stick to do this. It's a lot tidier than Mod Podge. You won't get any wrinkles and it is quick and easy, no drying time. On top of that, I'm going to use one of these Dollar Tree poster stickers. You can get these stickers anywhere, dollar stores, craft stores, Amazon and they are really easy to use. Now I couldn't find my ruler so I am using a little block of Sculpey to make sure I've got this exactly in the right spot and to make sure that they are all in the right spot all the way along. To make our new home sign easy to hang we're going to attach these together along the back using some hot glue and some burlap ribbon. And even though we're going to use the wire on the top frame to hang this, we're going to add one more loop of the burlap ribbon just as a really nice finishing touch on the top of the frame. This is the way our home sign came together. I installed it vertically, but you could do this horizontally as well. I just love the way the gold detail just peeks through that gray paint, but don't forget you can do this in any color to suit your decor.